Hello and welcome to the next video in the series. So today we're looking at the Robin Hood colliery video, which is a rather large site in Robin Hood. So it's where the line ventured across Ledwell Lane to meet the Robin Hood station. Just before that, the line branched off there. So that's the branch line we're gonna be following today. So I'm back up on the embankment now. So just behind me would have been Robin Hood station. That's Ledwell Lane down there. And that would have been the bridge just at the end there. We did this in a video earlier on in the series. And I'm now gonna be heading this way down the branch line, which follows the embankment for about half a mile up there. And then it branches off into some sidings where the coke ovens were. So again, I'll show you some pictures along the way. And then as we get down there, it then branched across A61, which is Leeds Road, on a single track rail, which I've got lots and lots of pictures to show you of that. So it went across there and then into the colliery where it branched out numerous times into loads of different sidings and railway lines. And then it carried on all the way up to Armitage's Quarry, which was a couple of, well, probably a mile further up. So it went all the way up there and it also branched off to the right and it went up to another pit up there called Castle Pit, which was a much earlier mine. Okay, so for some reason, my audio from this clip just decided to disappear. So I'm just going to talk to you over this video to tell you what I was saying and show you what I was describing on this video here. So in the back of the clip there, you can just see an embankment with industrial units on top of it. Now that was originally the Robin Hood colliery sidings. So the branch line would have gone off into there and branched off into multiple lines and it would have been a sidings area. Just in the background, you can see some houses. That's where the coke ovens would have been on the original site there. Then we came to this little culvert here. So this culvert would have gone underneath the embankment and out the other side into a little stream. So it would have disappeared at some point here because of the embankment. And as you can see, it's strewn with things and goods from the old colliery site as well. And then just a bit further down here, we found another little outlet there. I'm presuming that's fairly modern. It looks it anyway. I've got a feeling it's from the housing estate just behind, used for drainage now. But this whole culvert area here would have been the original culvert that would have been there when they built the railway. So they would have done it to take the water away. Then at this point, we found a building. Now this is what looks like a doorway. You can see the steps there. And the concrete posts either side would have been probably the door frame or the arch. And you can see the rebar in there as well. And again, we've got red bricks here, so it would have definitely been railway or colliery related, which to be fair was all part of the same thing anyway. So it was definitely part of the original site. And now this would have been down an embankment. So I don't know what was down here. I couldn't tell you what that building was. There's nothing on the maps that I could see anyway, just a few buildings. And over here, we found some kind of a pipe system. So that goes quite deep down and there would have been a pipe on top of that. And that was made out of cast iron. Again, I've no idea what that was. Then we came across another brick building here. It was all buried underneath the rubbish there. It looked like a piece of a building anyway, and there's just bricks all over this site here. And then we found this huge brick column, which was just laying there in the stream. Again, I've no idea what this was, but it's pretty solid and well built from what I could see. And there's also another one just up there at the side in the trees. There was one hanging down the embankment. So a lot of these buildings could have been demolished and then thrown down there later on. Here, which is now the top end of the site, so to the right of the video, you'll see a concrete wall. That's the retaining wall for the A61 Leeds Road there. So that runs down at the side of that concrete wall there. 
And then you'll see to the left an original brick wall there, which is definitely, again, railway and colliery related. You can tell by the brickwork and how old it is. It also matches some brickwork further up as well. So I'm betting that's been there for quite a few years now, probably over 120 years or so, maybe more. Now that is holding the embankment up. So at the top of this embankment, which is now at road level, so it's sloped down gently, it's now at road level. This is where these, these sidings would have gone into a single rail and then headed across the A61. Then there's the biggest surprise of the day was what we found here. So this was a culvert that we found. I've never seen this before and I have been down here many times, but it was always summer when I came down. This culvert heads under the A61 and pops out right the other side of the colliery site, as you'll see in this video later on. Again, I've never seen this, but I did make a bold statement when I was stood here. I said that I would head down here in summer and go in that culvert for another explore. I would head through that culvert and see what's inside there and probably walk through it or crawl through it. Right, so I'm now on the A61, which is uh, Leeds Road, heading towards Loft House. And you've got the halfway house pub just behind me there on, the, on this side. So I'm heading this way. So the colliery would have been all this site here all the way up to the junction there, and the other side. So this was all the colliery. This is the wall here. That's where I was earlier down there. So this is the supporting wall here. The culvert is under here. Okay, so at the entrance to this industrial estate here. Now this would have been the sidings here. This is where the line would have crossed here on the A61 and it would have gone that way there. So it would have crossed here diagonally. As you can see on this picture that I'll show you now. So just take note of that building there and those houses behind it. Just take note of that and I'll show you this picture. And then I want to draw your attention to this wall here. Not that one, this one here. You just look at that. You can see the original wall. Just take note of the uh, lines in the, in the stone there. And then I'll show you this picture and you'll see that exact wall. Maybe you're being chopped off a little bit here, but it's the exact wall that was on the picture that I'll show you now. So if you just look at that, The same with this wall here. So this is the original wall as well. It runs all the way down here. Again, I think they've manipulated it slightly because there's some new sections on there. But that is the original wall, this side. So this is the site of the colliery here. So this is where the line would have come in, on the level obviously. And this is the site of the colliery. So let's head through here and see what we can find. So that culvert, that runs under the road there must still be under here so that's going to be one hell of a explore so they've made this uh, into a housing estate now as you can see got a nice little park in the middle the colliery pit head would have been just up there behind these houses here just up there behind them houses i'll show you that when we get up there later on and I'll even, well, no, I won't. I was gonna say, I'll show you the house that's built on top of the pit head on the mine shaft, but I won't. And just in case they're watching, they might be absolutely mortified to find out that the house is built on a mine shaft. So I will not say which one it is. I'll just show you roughly the area that it was in. I'm just having a look down here to see if there's anything remaining or anything like that. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so right where we are now, just where the park is, there would have been a branch line here. So just behind me there. So the, the line would have come across the road there towards me and into the colliery. And then it would have also gone on that embankment there 
and up there in that direction. So we'll pick that up later on. So that's the Armitage Quarry branch line over there. So it would have been on this level here and gone up there in that direction. But we'll pick that up, as you can see the motorway is just behind there now. We'll pick that up a bit later on. It'll either be in this video or the next one. But we'll pick it up because I want to show you a bit further up there and we're going to go all the way up to Armitage's quarry as well. But for now I'm just concentrating on the bottom end here at the Robin Hood colliery site. So I'm going to keep pushing on and see if there's anything left further up so I'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay so I'm now on Lower Thorpe Lane and just behind me again is the Halfway House pub so we've come up and across. We're going around the top side of the colliery now. So all this that you can see would have been the colliery. So all that housing estate, all the way down there, that company there would have been part of the colliery. All this side here would have been part of the colliery. This woodland here would have been, and these houses here as well. So it would have covered up here. Now this road here has been reprofiled massively. So in the old days, this road would have gone that way towards that red house there and up and then turn, took a left turn further up. Now the reason it's been reprofiled is because the M1 is just there behind that, them trees there. So that is the M1 there. So it was reprofiled and it now goes underneath there under a road bridge under the motorway there. So that's why it was reprofiled, but all about there, about just where the road is now, going under the bridge, would have been a huge engine shed, which I'll show you on a picture later on. And the road would have gone that way and a lot of the branch lines would have gone up here as well. Okay, so we're down around the site of where the colliery, the main colliery was and the pit head. There's lots of uh, rocks and things around here. I'll just turn you around. So they made it into a little garden now. But this was the original pit head site here. Or the, uh, I think it was called Rose Pit. Again, named after the mine owner's daughter. There's some nice uh, rock work here. Now originally, years ago, when I came here to look, I thought this was the pit head. I thought that was covering the pit head over there because it was around here somewhere, but it turns out it's not. The pit head was actually over here, just a bit further on behind there. So the pit head was just here. And like I said earlier, somebody's house is built right on top of the pit head. And I'm not talking about their garden, I'm talking about their house. So somebody's living room it's probably over a few hundred feet deep hole <laughs> and it will be a few hundred feet as well and their, their living room's probably above that I'm sure it's been totally capped off uh, properly but you never know <laughs> I don't like saying things like that but you never know so just an overview of the site there so the pit head would have been over here this would have all been the colliery there's a large company there now which is built on the old sidings. There were sidings down there and a huge engine shed at the end, which we'll cover in a minute. But I don't know if you can see, if I just make my way down here. This is where the culvert comes out. Just see down there, look. That's where the culvert comes out from the A61 down there. So. When I said I'm going to go in it and walk through it in summer, I think I've just changed my mind. If you look at that, it comes out into a blocked off area. You can't even get out here. So, yeah, I might have just changed my mind on that one. I don't fancy going up a tunnel, crouching for a couple of hundred yards and then getting stuck at the other end. No thanks. <laughs> Although saying that, I may change my mind. You can see you can't get out there, look. So this must be from the company here. This is this looks original, the bottom bit. 
but this would have been here when the mine was here. Okay, so let's head up this way now, back up the hill, and we'll see what's further down the road. So like I was saying earlier, this is the M1 right behind me here, look. Just there, so the, sh the uh, mine would have continued this way. There would have been branch lines going off up here towards Castle Pit and up there into the woodland. Right about here where I'm stood now would have been a huge engine shed, just here. And I'll show you that on this picture now. But we're going to continue down here up the side of the mine again so the mine would have been all in this area as well this is now a large company this would have all been part of the colliery now i don't know if you can see that as well there's some kind of air shaft there as well i'm presuming could that be an air shaft from the colliery because they did have air shafts all along the routes to obviously allow air in, fresh air anyway. So I'm, well, could be, could well be part of the colliery that it looks new, but when they did the motorway, they could have redone that. So I'm gonna bet again that that's part of the colliery. That's just in the trees, just to the right of the colliery. So we'll carry on up here and I'll get back to you if I find anything significant. We've reached a point now, just up from the colliery. So the colliery is down there on the right. This is where earlier on, when I was down the other side of here, I said that there was a branch line that came up towards Armitage Quarry. So that would have come up directly in line with them trees there, up through these houses here towards the camera. And it would have headed that way where the motorway is now and straight across the other side and up to Armitage's brickworks. Now, if you just look down here, if you remember a couple of times in a few of the videos I've said that there isn't many lines or actual rails remaining from the East West Yorkshire Union Railway. There was the some down at the um, the Rothwell Haig Colliery down at the Country Park, there was some there and there was some down at Sturton under the Cinder Oven Bridge. Well this is the only other place that I know of where there's some remaining on this side so if you just look down there there's a rail and somewhere under here it is buried now but there is another one Let's see if i can kick some dirt off it's down here somewhere i have seen it before so you can see there's a cobbled road here and there's the rail look I say there's another one there was another one here last time I came up here but it actually looks like it's not there at all so I'm wondering it would be about here so I'm wondering <laughs> if somebody's ripped it up or stolen it yeah I can't see it I'm just last time I just kicked the dirt off and it was there anyway you can see, see so this is where the line would have crossed here it would have been at this level and gone, like I said, as you follow the rail there, in that direction, up to the Armitage Quarry. If we just look down here as well, the original gateposts are still here again. Much larger ones though. Presuming it was some kind of a large gatepost, this one. It's the fact there's a, still a metal gate there on the actual hinge. I don't know if that's original, but there you go. There aren't any up here, so it's just this one here. So we'll head back down the way we came and I'm just gonna keep walking around and seeing if there's anything else to show you really. So this is pretty much what's left of the colliery. What I might do is just end it here and show you a lot of pictures because I've got plenty of pictures on this site here. So I might just do that instead. 
Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that little insight into the Robin Hood colliery. Like I said, it's totally vanished now. There's just houses and businesses and industry there now. So there's absolutely zero left to show you, but I hope I've given you a, an overview of what it did look like and found some treasures in the trees as well. Things that I, even I didn't know was there. That's the whole point of these videos. I'll see you in the next one. Please give us a like on this video and a subscribe to the channel. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much. See you soon.